Inflammatory murder from Georgia's past comes back to life. The tragedy of Leo Frank and Mary Fagan is re revived when the Fulton County District Attorney began to form what he calls a conviction integrity unit. Many may recall the details from 1913. Even today, little Mary Fagan raped and strangled in the factory where she worked, last seen alive by factory superintendent Leo Frank. His trial roiled the nation with hatred stoked by race, gender, and religion. When the Georgia governor commuted his death sentence, an angry mob kidnapped him from prison and lynched him in Mary's hometown of Marietta. Tonight, Mary Fagan's namesake reveals to CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears how it affects her life to this very day. It won't go away. So Mary Fagan Keene so. has lived with her namesake's horrible death since she was 13. My science teacher in eighth grade, Mr. Henry, said to me, are you by chance related to that little girl that was murdered in Atlanta? And that is when the pain of being Mary Fagan's heir began. The boys in her class teasing her about being a murder victim reincarnated. She went straight back to her father. Is it true that there's another little Mary Fagan? And I swear to you, he stood back and turned whiter than whiter could be and said, who told you that? And he said, tomorrow when you go back to school, you tell Mr. Henry that yes, you are related and you are the namesake and great niece of little Mary Fagan. The infamous trial and later lynching of Leo Frank are captured in the neat files in her bedroom. Yet a century of doubt about Frank's guilt is here too and in the Georgia archives where the Leo Frank story lives on. I found here photographs the New York Times staged but never published showing an alternate theory of the murder. The staging shows a model of Mary pushed down a hole into the basement, knocked unconscious, attacked and strangled by Leo Frank's so-called accomplice, Jim Conley, the star witness against Frank. My great-grandmother and great-stepfather were at the trial every day. Mary Fagan Keene recoils from these photographs. Convinced of Leo Frank's guilt, she is wondering if her own research into the case was worth publishing. I have the DNA in me, and when I have questions about it, I'll go to Mary's grave and ask if I am to get involved. And I always receive a sign that tells me yes. Her confidence leads her to protest the district attorney opening this case again. I think I would be very sad if they exonerated Leo Frank without the Fagan family involvement, but then I will push the world to know that we weren't involved in it. It is hard to imagine after a century of fascination with this case that the world will ignore her voice. I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 News. Now another nugget, the archives hold a haunting message that Sally Sears will explore tonight at 11.